Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Yesterday we celebrated the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. 2,000 years ago, He rose from the dead the third day after He had finished the great work of our salvation. And we worship and praise Him and thank Him for His wonderful salvation. As we look in the book of Revelation, we find that He is the Lamb of God who was slain from the foundation of the world to redeem us from our sins. And that's why in chapter 4 of Revelation, all of heaven worships God as Creator. In chapter 5, they worship the Lamb as their wonderful Redeemer. Just also yesterday, released in a major newspaper in our country, was an article by a major writer that said, we need to kill the God of the Bible. I'm telling you, many of us worship God, but many people in this world want Him dead. They said He's a cruel, unjust God and allows war and allows pain and suffering. Where is God? Read the Bible, they said. It's all about God pouring out bad things on people. Look what happened in Egypt when He poured out the ten plagues. We need to kill that God was what the article was about. Well, my friend, we need to worship that God. It sounds like Revelation is already beginning as we see the God haters all around us and those who love Jesus are being persecuted and maligned and mocked and uh, put out of the way and try and silence Stephen censored and but today we read this book of Revelation and we find we have a God even in wrath he remembers mercy he has love and he cares and so that's why chapter 6 after the first six seals are opened up uh, that were in the seven sealed book chapter 7 begins to tell us about the 144,000 144,000 Jews who are sealed and they preach the gospel. Now the best to understand this we'll see in Revelation 11 the two witnesses that God sends to the earth. They preach the gospel as a result of their preaching and sharing the gospel of Christ. 144,000 Jews are sealed and they go around the world preaching the gospel to every kindred nation and people group. And that group of people then the Gentiles is what we read about in the last part of this chapter. So the first part of the chapter 7, it starts with after these things. What after what things? The six seals being opened and the four horses coming into view and uh, kind of giving us the sequence of events that takes place in the first three and a half years of the tribulation. And by the way, I have to say it over and over again, the book of Revelation for the most part is about seven years, 42 months and 42 months, three and a half divided into two parts, three and a half months, three and a half years, and three and a half years in the first part of the tribulation. It's when, of course, we believe these 144,000 Jews, 12,000 from each tribe that's named here in chapter 7 are sealed and they're sharing the gospel. And then that's why we read again in verse 9, and after these things I looked and he said, I saw a great multitude which no one could number. There's only 144,000 Jews that get sealed, but that doesn't mean that that's all the Jews that get sealed that or, or get saved because I believe even more Jews will trust Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior as this gospel is preached because then there's a great multitude. They're from all nations, which would include even Jewish people, but these are the Gentile peoples of tribes and peoples and tongues standing before the throne and before for the Lamb. Now remember the elders that we saw in chapter 4 that were seated around the throne. They were seated around the throne, represent the church age, represent us believers in this time and period who all get raptured and only lost people begin at the beginning of the tribulation. But then the 102 witnesses, the 144,000, and then these multitudes trust the Lord through their preaching and they get saved and they're standing, it says, before the throne. And they're worshiping God too. It says they're clothed in white robes, white robes with palm branches in their hand. 
Palm branches were a sign of victory. When the uh, conquering uh, uh, general would come home in the Roman days, they'd throw palm branches in the street, and uh, they would celebrate, and white robes would be given. They're victorious. Well, my friend, even though these are the saints who get martyred during the tribulation, I'm telling you what, they're victorious in Jesus Christ. Well, my time has run out. It goes so quickly. God bless you. We'll pick this up where we left it off tomorrow, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.